Welcome to Mastering Dropbox. Today I'm going to show you how to the, use the Dropbox Forms option under Jot Forms to set up a quick form using this service and have that information saved into your Dropbox account. Um, this is my first time doing this in a long time and I'm creating a new account so they may have changed a few things. So bear with me if I do get a, a little lost but it shouldn't be too hard. So the first thing you want to do is head over to www.jotform.com slash dropbox. I'll provide the link in the description. And once you're there, go ahead and click on create a Dropbox form. And then click on log in to Dropbox. Now you should get this pop-up window here. If you do not, you may get a notice that your pop-ups have been blocked. And if you're using Google Chrome, there will be a little icon here in the top right-hand corner that you can click on to allow the, the pop-ups to happen. If you're using other browsers, there's usually some little bar or something that shows up near the top that you can click on to allow the pop-ups to happen. So right now, I'm already logged into my Dropbox account. And what it, and Dropbox is saying, uh, Jot Form would like access to your files and folders in your Dropbox. Learn more. And if I click on Learn More, it, it talks about what it has access to. It. Now, I'm the type of person that if I trust the website, then I don't mind them having access to my Dropbox. Uh, and if you notice here, it says API request. So API is the uh, programming interface. So this Jot Forms is communicating with Dropbox in the proper manner. They're using Dropbox's API forms and a API uh, uh, code and instructions to access the information. So this is how this Dropbox allows this and this is completely normal. So Dropbox is saying Dropform would like access to your files and folders in your Dropbox. And all you have to do is go ahead and click on allow. And then Drop Forms says integrating with Dropbox tells you when that's complete, creating a Jot Form guest account, and creating a sample form. And when that's done, you go ahead and click next. And now you have an actual form set up. You don't have to do anything further if you don't want. Uh, but I highly recommend that you go in and customize the form to be what you want. If we click on preview sample form, you'll see what they created. Very basic form. It's a name, first name and last name, an email address, a, a section to make a description or comments, and the ability to upload a file. So before I customize it, let me just see if I can actually do this. John, John Doe. Uh, I'll use, I'll just use my Dropbox email and see, hopefully it works. And this is a test. Upload a file, and I'll choose this picture again like I did before. All right, so as you can see, I put in my name, put in a name, put in an email address, a description. I attached a file, which I can delete if I change the wrong one, and now I can say send now. All right, looks like that's been submitted. It does say thank you up here in the corner. It's not giving me any informa additional information here, uh, but we'll look into that now shortly when we customize. And as you notice here as well, you have embed code, so you can actually put this right into your uh, blog post or whatever, wherever you want to uh, put it. Notepad. Let's just throw this here right now. I'll go ahead and click next. Now I have the option to customize it, which I can launch the form builder. So I'll go ahead and choose that. Now I don't have an account right now for this, so I can choose sign up and I can choose a username and I can choose a password or sorry, email address, which is just the one I've started using for this tutorial and a password and confirm the password and then go ahead and create my account this is where you can customize it i'm just going to say skip for now all right so now i'm set up now i'm pretty sure that by default it created a um, i don't 
have the free account right now, I have a trial of their paid account. But if you go up under pricing, you see that you have the option to do a starter package, which is completely free. Actually, no, it did, uh, it did automatically give me the uh, starter. So, starter package allows me to do a lot, allows me to do a hundred monthly uh, submissions, hundred megabytes in size, five forms in total, a thousand monthly form views, 500 total submission storage, and unlimited reports fields per form. So this is a nice little starter package, and for anyone getting started with this and just wants to create a form to have people submit some information and then you can delete that form, this is a good option. If you need more, then you can obviously upgrade from there. So this one here is the one that I just did. And as you can see, I have one submission, which is the one I just, just done online. And I can go in and customize this form. So I can change this around. I can make it look different. I can add more form elements, uh, such as the uh, uh, different headers and time and date picker and short text. Basically, anything that's common on a form is available here to to import. You can also add in some widgets for Google Analytics and see how many people's come in there and timers and you can embed PDF documents. So Jot Forms is a nice little option. I, I like I've always liked Jot Form. I've used it uh, with Dropbox in the past. I haven't used it much lately but it's always nice. And once they submit the form, uh, if you notice here, a uh, this is my Dropbox. I went ahead uh, they went ahead and created a folder called Jot uh, form to Dropbox, and if I go in there, I have the uh, form, and then I have the submission PDF of what I submitted. So there's the information, the data was submitted, my name that I entered, my email address that I entered, uh, the description I entered, the picture I uploaded. So it's very simple. Everything is saved in Dropbox, and as I mentioned before, everything is synced. So if I go to Dropbox here, this folder here is now up and updated, exact same layout, and the PDF has all been created there. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to set up, pretty easy to customize, pretty user friendly. Um, just in case uh, I I overlooked it, um, when I went in look at pricing, it does show that I'm on the the basic free package, but I thought I saw it say something about a trial. So just make, just keep an eye on that. Uh, just make sure that if it is a trial before the trial expires, unless you're looking to upgrade to a more expensive one, just go ahead and keep the basic one for your needs, unless you want more. But that's it. This is how you go ahead and uh, set up the Jot forms for your uh, for to have a form set up for Dropbox and have all the information stored in Dropbox. Great little service. I love it. Have a great day.